Let's take a walk through our production facilities that span over 75,000 square feet and witness the outcome of 360 hours of hand craftsmanship. The result? The Pleasure Way Ford Excel. Once each unit is stripped and prepped, we begin the process of widening the side walls. First, we remove not only the rear doors, but also both side doors. The remaining side walls, roof and floor are cut away. Next, we are able to extend the length of the chassis frame. A new floor frame is securely bolted into place. Finally, a jig is set up to weld in the original Ford door jams. We maintain the original Ford factory doors and jams to ensure there are no water leaks. Before any further welding is completed, the fiberglass walls are sprayed into the mold. Once the fiberglass is cured, the steel sidewall framework is adhered into place while the sidewall is still in its mold. This ensures the fiberglass walls cannot warp. Only after the steel frame adhesive is cured is the fiberglass sidewall removed from the mold. Next, an overhead crane hangs the fiberglass sidewalls onto the chassis. Once the steel frames are aligned, the wall is then fitted, then welded into place. The roof cage is then fitted and welded into place, as seen here. It is now time for secondary fiberglass work to be done. Cutouts for the window, hatch, and compartment door are removed. The chassis receives the installation of rear wheel spacers like this. Spacers are added to enhance the exterior appearance while improving stability. The van is now sent to our paint crew. The paint crew is responsible for ensuring that not only is each piece of fiberglass sanded and painted, but also that each welded seam is sealed, primed, and painted. As only one example of our commitment to quality, Pleasureway paints the entire fiberglass on our van motorhomes to ensure that only the highest quality product has our name on it. This is done because paint is least likely to fade and wear. Each and every add-on part, such as this locking access door, is painted to match exactly to the exterior coordinating color. During the following stage of production, it is time to install the subflooring and roof. The plywood subflooring with the bonded heat shield is screwed into place. The sidewall blocking is cut and glued into place to provide anchorage points for cabinetry and wall panels. Next, the roof is installed by using Sika Flex Adherence. Pleasureway then re-secures the roof to the fiberglass wall by attaching it with screws. The chassis now returns to the welding department where the fitted roof cage pieces are welded into place. At this point, another stringent test is conducted to check for any possible air or water leaks using this device that measures interior air pressure. A new process of quality control tests are stringently administered to eliminate any possibilities of water leaks as shown here. This air leak meter device indicates any possible water leakage issues and is quickly found and sealed. Following the installation of the propane tank, the chassis is raised on a hydraulic lift where the air ride helper springs are installed and the undercarriage is carefully undercoated. The running boards are installed and the motorhome moves into its new stall where the interior work begins. The mill shop is where the individual cabinet parts are made. From assembling by hand all the drawers to planing and sanding all the hardwood maple moldings to final sandings on all the maple doors. The TV cabinet, as shown here, is built one piece at a time, measured, cut, glued, and carefully nailed into place, taking on average five hours to complete. On larger pieces, every piece is labeled by the serial number of the chassis, so the installer knows which pieces belong to which van, as each one is handcrafted for that particular van. The half-inch thick countertop is electronically engineered on this CNC router.
Then, the countertop is carefully hand sanded, and additional layers are added to later form the radius bullnose edging before the final sanding is done. DuPont Corian is a non-porous solid surface material. Stains cannot penetrate the surface, and neither can mold, mildew, or bacteria. Corian also resists burns and scratches. In the main production facility, the motorhome then enters into its cabinet installation position. Here the vehicles will remain stationary while the craftsmen build the interior of the coach. The cabinet installer starts by fitting the full length wall partitions first. The installer will make a template of the wall partition, then transfer it onto the actual piece. This process ensures a tight fit and a rattle free ride. Other trades, such as plumbing, gas fitting, and electrical, rotate through the coach, running lines and installing the appliances while the cabinets are being installed. The uniquely arched and fluted hardwood maple moldings have to be hand fit to the contour of the interior roof line. The installer trims the solid three quarter inch maple. Then these parts are sent back to the mill shop where they are stained and lacquered before the final installation. The exterior components and windows are installed and carefully sealed. Once the majority of the cabinets have been installed, the van heads into the carpet and drapery department. First, the carpet layers fill and sand any imperfections in the plywood subfloor. Next, they spread the water-based non-toxic adhesive to the subfloor and the entire surface of the carpet and lino. This allows better adhesion resulting in a floor covering that won't lift over time. Finally, the chairs get installed. All the seats are custom upholstered and memory foam is added to provide better comfort as well as to mold to the contours of your body. The seats are then upholstered with ultra leather fabric. Ultra leather fabric gives you the look and feel of the finest European calf skin with performance benefits no animal product could ever match. It's 13% cooler than leather, stain resistant, cleans with soap and water, and exceeds the industry's endurance standards by six times. All seat belts have passed the seat belt pull testing, NHTSA and DOT. There are also two three-point seat belts installed in the rear power sofa back seats. Nearing completion, the motorhome is ready for the finishing department. This is the stage of production which involves dealing with the finer details of the motorhome manufacturing process. We start to seal facets of the interior coach, like the bathroom walls, to ensure the compartment is watertight, as well as around the sinks and countertops, the hanging of cabinet doors, the installation of drawers, and the filling of nail holes all take place here. In this bay, the coach has its electrical, water, and LP gas systems and appliances checked to ensure they all meet the RVIA and CSA code. The motorhome then gets thoroughly cleaned inside and out before proceeding to the striping stall. The most important phase in the construction of a Pleasure Way van motorhome comes in the final inspection and quality control department. This is the department where the work of all the other departments is rigidly inspected by the quality control team. Checklists are checked and double checked by each member of the quality control team. Any flaws are marked and the appropriate department is notified to correct any issues. In fact, every staff member must sign off on all the work they performed. This is part of the reason why Pleasureway has one of the lowest warranty costs among RV manufacturers in North America. Once the motorhome passes all the inspections and the vehicle has been signed off, the motorhome is complete and ready for shipping.